Speaking of Republican playbooks for 2024, just like the possibility of a 2020 rematch between President Biden and Trump, the election season in Texas uh, is turning out to possibly be a repeat of 2022, a rematch of the midterms. Deep down in Lone Star State, you've got to go pretty far south along the Democratic stronghold by the border. Republicans still see an opportunity to turn the region red. Mora Garza is running in the 34th district, which includes Brownsville along the border. Here's his opening ad. Fentanyl is coming across our border and poisoning our community. Families are moving out and the criminals are moving in. The values we treasure as Texans are being stomped on by a careless elite and a government that turns a blind eye to the border. That's why I'm taking a stand now. <laughs> Republicans saw a similar opportunity back in November with three districts that looked promising but weren't able to deliver for the GOP. Garza's district is the same one where Republican candidate Myra Flores, Mexican-born immigrant, who did manage a special election victory, lost her seat in November. Mr. Garza is here with us now. We appreciate it, sir. Uh, all right. Why is the same script going to work in 2024 that didn't work in 2022? The, and thank you for having me, Leland. Um, yeah. The, the border is, is out of control. It is complete chaos. I, I am the only candidate uh, with a vision to stand behind. And this particular district, being the most southernmost district in the United States, is going to directly and indirectly impact not just Texas, but the entire nation. Uh, fentanyl, for example, let's take fentanyl. It, it, it is out of control. It is uh, destroying our families, uh, affecting our children. It, it, it is uh, uh, my well, look, 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 look I, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you. We've done segments about this day in, day out, about the border, uh, the crisis on the border, the ineffectiveness of the Biden administration, or effectiveness, however you want to argue it, in terms of, uh, in terms of their policies and what, what has happened on the border, and, and, the, and the fentanyl crisis. Again, segment after segment. What I'm curious about is why it doesn't seem to be resonating with the voters who are affected the most by it. Well, no, no, it is resonating. Our, our District 34 it is, is, is resonating. If you look at the data from previous elections, it's continually going into the pink. Uh, the people uh, have tried to go along with the media, go along with what's going on. It's worse than what the media reports. But I believe in November 2024, uh, the constituents are going to make the right choice. You know, why hasn't it gotten better? Why has it continues to get worse? Now, like well, look, I was saying, I, again, again, no argument. I'm just trying to understand from a political standpoint. Uh, Gonzalez versus Flores, House District uh, 34. Gonzalez wins, uh, and not by a little, but by a lot. We're talking six plus points. De La Cruz uh, versus Valero, District 15. These are all the, the, the three southern lined up districts. Uh, Monica De La Cruz did win that one. Cuellar versus Garcia. Henry Cuellar won by by again almost, but not quite. Du double digits, is it, is it simply that you're banking on that, that things are going to just continue to get so much worse that the, the trend of turning Republican will eventually get above 50 percent? No, not absolutely. There are several, several reasons. Uh, for sure, the, for one of the most, most important reasons to understand is the district is, is 81 percent Hispanic. Just by being Hispanic, Leland, that means that that's, that 81 percent is conservative. Now, whether or not that conservative group has voted Democrat or Republican in the past, those that even voted uh, Hispanics that have voted Democrat believe they are conservative. So it is in, 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 in providing the, the, the right message with the right tone and all that. Uh, but it's also right. about the truth. The constituents want the truth. They well, don't want look, look, they, they, they live. They they also live. They also live the truth, really, which which is which That's is right. different um, for for a lot of people in terms of uh, what what we see on television uh, in the rest of America versus what you all see on the border. We got to run, sir, but we appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.